Hi, YouTube, it's Akila, obviously, and I'm suing a grown man who goes by the name Sargon. Am I aware that Sargon has a family? <laughs> yeah. Also, I don't care. They're not my kids, <laughs> all right? Uh, I, 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 listen, if he cares about his family, maybe he wouldn't have done this. It has nothing to do with me. Uh, so I'm not gonna feel bad about suing for somebody who stole from me. I'm just not gonna do it. And I think that, uh, you know, I'm going to win the lawsuit and I don't feel bad about that. <laughs> <laughs> 2020 is a fucking train wreck. I mean, it's an absolute fucking fiesta. SJWs, guilty self-hating white people, the CDC, China, Black Lives Matter, Nick Cannon. It's just a race to see who can fuck up the most. This sometimes results in mass hysteria and laughs, and sometimes it unfortunately results in people genuinely getting hurt. But right now, the winner of the race is one content creator named Akila, obviously. And in winning the race to be the worst, she's giving us a much needed nugget of hope in the midst of the fuckery that is 2020. And with that being said, let's get it, let's go. Back in February of this year, Akila obviously, aka Akila Hughes, lost a three year long lawsuit against one Carl Benjamin, who's better known as Sargon of Akkad. Adding insult to injury, or really just injury to injury, because holy shit, the court also awarded over 38,000 in attorney's fees to Sargon. This case is one I've been following on and off since I first heard about it years ago. I thought it was pretty open and shut. Akila issued a frivolous lawsuit against Sargon after unsuccessfully filing a false DMCA claim against one of his videos where he took small bits of her video and uploaded it onto his channel with the title SJW Levels of Awareness. The video in question involved Akila reacting to Trump's victory in the 2016 election with surprise and shock after previously having been excited for the prospect of Hillary Clinton winning. Sargon, being a staunch Hillary Clinton critic from day one, was obviously poking fun at how Akila and her ilk were just blindsided by Clinton's loss. In his opinion, Hillary was a woefully inferior candidate and an immoral, corrupt politician. And the fact that Akila or anyone else, genuinely thought she ever had a chance was cause for ridicule. That's it. That's the big offense. No threats, no harassment, no racist attacks. Just letting her argument hang itself with the words that came out of her own mouth. Akila opted to take the high road and claim copyright on the video. For the uninitiated, Plenty of people who have critical or mocking videos made about them try to get them taken down in some type of underhanded way. Most common tactic is just false flagging, saying something's in violation of YouTube guidelines even when there is no violation. Now a step above that is what's commonly called a false DMCA takedown or false DMCA claim. Basically this is something that was put in place to allow creators to keep from having huge chunks or entire bodies of their work uh, from being uploaded by people who don't have the rights to distribute or upload said work. However, if the work in question is being used in a transformative way, say for parody, satire, or review, people are within their right to use portions of other people's copyrighted work on their own channel, in their own videos. Given the context that I laid out for Sargon's video, I hope that it's pretty clear to see how Sargon was not infringing on any copyright by using portions of Akila's video. She claimed that he did, however, because this is a go-to silencing tactic for people who are losing an argument but can't muster up a counter. This has happened to damn near everybody in this specific sphere of YouTube, including your boy right here. Way back in the year of our Lord 2011, I made a video defending black Americans against this user named ACAT, insert random numbers here. She was an African woman, uh, Ethiopian, I think, who was making lots of denigrating statements against the black American community, particularly against black women. 
I, along with a bunch of other YouTubers, drag this woman's argument through the dirt in a fashion that I'm still proud of to this day. So of course she tries to get my video taken down, citing a breach of the DMCA. I dispute, because of course. Now from here, she has two options. She can drop the issue and let YouTube put the video back up, or take the matter to court. The latter is obviously not a smart option here, because we're dealing with the law. We'll be in court, a real court, before a real judge, where you will have to prove that I am infringing on your copyright. This is not Twitter, where you get to just say whatever with no evidence and have hundreds of thousands of people big you up and yas queen slay all up and down your timeline. And since 99.99% .99 of these people have no legal grounds for this, and they know this by the way, they just drop it right there. That's what ACAD did with me. Obviously, that's not what Akila did with Sargon. Now, this alone would be enough of a self-own on Akila's part. Bring this bullshit before a judge. Having people put forth thousands and thousands and thousands of man hours and litigation behind something that really should have just been settled in the DMs. But then she decided to make the galaxy brain play of showing her entire ass on social media during the three year course of this shit show of a lawsuit, uh, particularly on the Bird app, because of fucking course she did. This included, but was not limited to, bragging about how she knew she was going to win, accusing Sargon's fan base of carrying out harassment campaigns against her, trying to get Sargon's Patreon taken down in an effort to bankrupt him, celebrating when Sargon's Patreon actually was taken down, and last but not least, saying she doesn't care that her actions are putting his family's living conditions in danger because, and I quote, they're not my kids, and if he cares about his family, maybe he wouldn't have done this, end quote. Keep in mind that this in question here is Sargon having uploaded a two minute long video of Akilah speaking on her feelings regarding the loss of Hillary Clinton. That is the initial offense that launched this whole thing. And regardless of what she claims on Twitter, there was no harassment here, at least not from Sargon. This is just another example of someone who can't slash won't argue and is unwilling to be reasonable regarding a loss they suffered, which is even something the judge presiding over this case pointed out. That's right, the fucking judge, being the mad lad that he is, called this woman unreasonable in the official breakdown of this case. How many different ways can you say oof? Let me count them. Akila, in this context, is a head on the Hydra that is the final form of SJWs. Most of them don't have the disposable income or time to take bullshit lawsuits like this to court. So even if they try to silence their critics, they'll drop it once they see that they're going to have to put forth any effort beyond just clicking buttons and typing. But not our girl Akilah. She went the distance, Disney Hercules style. She went the distance against that cis-heteronormative capitalist white supremacist of Sargon of Akkad. You know, the one who actually puts forth well-reasoned arguments, openly debates people who disagree with him, isn't above the occasional shitpost, but doesn't try to end people's careers and ruin their lives over tweets and YouTube videos that people are well within their legal right to make. Like the judge who presided over this whole mess, I want this to be a lesson. A lesson to everyone out there who thinks that they can abuse copyright laws to silence their critics. A lesson to those who have no compassion or empathy for the real life circumstances of the folks they argue with online and who would happily nuke the lives of innocent spouses and children into the stratosphere over this madness. A lesson to all the smooth brains who publicly brag about ongoing cases and shoot their arguments in both feet with sawed off shotguns. The lesson here? Fucking don't. don't! Just fucking don't do it. It's not worth it. If someone is mocking you in your position or debunking some statement that you made, you have two options. 
you put on your big kid pants and respond in kind with a counter argument of your own or shut the fuck up and if for some ungodly reason this ends up going to court you most definitely need to shut the fuck up and that's all for me today I really appreciate all the support my videos have been getting lately. You guys are showing up and showing out. As you can see, I've also started uploading some gameplay footage. I have at least two more videos coming out this week, potentially three. We'll see where the chips fall. But definitely stick around once again. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'm Animane, and I'll talk to y'all later. Oh, and uh, Keela, if you see this, for all of our sakes, and really your own. Just please shut the fuck up.